Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Supergirl Season 6, and we're going to be talking about Episode 1, and what we're potentially going to be seeing if we get a trailer at DC Fandom or any time later in the year. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, as you guys know, Supergirl is not returning to filming around until November time this year. Supergirl isn't going to be coming out in the fall or January 2021. It's going to be coming out around April, May time next year. So we've got a long while. we still got to wait till November to get any behind the scenes content. But the next piece of big news and big information we're going to be getting will in fact be from DC Fandom because they are doing a panel for Supergirl and most of the cast are set to be at that panel and so potentially we may be getting a trailer for the next season because and this is a big because because they shot episode 19 and 20 and they nearly finished it they nearly finished 20 and they ended up merging 19 and 20 together because they didn't finish those last couple of days where they were supposed to shoot. In today's video, we're going to be discussing those specific scenes that you didn't see in the season finale that are going to hopefully be appearing in episode 1 if they followed the same formula that The Flash is using. They're using their footage they filmed for the end of last season at the start of the next season. So because they shot that footage for episode 20, we can potentially be expecting a trailer because they do have that footage in the can, they can use that if they want, and I'm presuming they want to get some sort of hype up because Supergirl isn't going to be coming back for a long time from now, like currently it is the end of July and you know we still have to go through the fall, which is autumn, winter, spring, and then you know at the start of next summer basically, like at the end of next spring is when Supergirl is going back, it's a long time. I'm expecting, but maybe more so hoping that they will release a trailer to sort of get up some hype about you know Supergirl returning to filming and then finally them coming back with episodes you know sometime next year. So anyway, today's video we're going to be talking about what to expect in the Supergirl Season 6 trailer whenever it comes, hopefully at DC Fandom. So, you know, I'm not going to specifically give you the details as to the trailer. I'm going to give you the details as to what was shot in Episode 20 and what we know wasn't included. So that can potentially be in the trailer because they do have this footage. And so, a lot of this is coming from Canada Graphs, who was on the set of Supergirl on the last couple of days that they were filming before production was shut down and they had to sort of cancel those final few days of filming. And so, he put up a blog post a while ago, I think, back in March sometime. And today we're going to be revisiting that because the scenes that he notes were not actually used in episode 19 and this is something that people have been theorizing about. We're going to bring it together in this one video. So there's one big scene and then there's a sort of smaller scene that supposedly are going to be the ones that were supposed to happen at the end of the finale because they have this sort of climactic feel where you know there's sort of crowds everywhere, people are cheering and there is like a big moment with Lex that we need to talk about as well. So supposedly this is you know going to be included in episode one hopefully. So let's go over to Canada Grass's blog which you can check out in the description below. Also check out his Twitter. He is a great source. When they return to film, we're going to be relying a lot on Canada Graphs for a lot of the behind the scenes content on all our shows because I'm sure he's going to be there filming, getting those photos, getting the information for us and it's always a great help and I really appreciate it. So go check out Canada Graphs in the description below. So we're on his blog right now. We're going to read out some of the stuff from the specific blog about these two scenes that they filmed that weren't used because they were for episode 20. So the first scene I came across had several cast in a scene, Melissa Benoist as Supergirl, David Harewood as Martian Manhunter, Nicole Maines as Dreamer, Jesse Raff as Brainiac 5, looks a bit different, in brackets he says, Sharon Leal as Miss Martian and the stand-in for Kyla Lee was in the background of the scene too, in some type of blue and black hooded outfit. We obviously know that's her new superhero suit because we've seen the final episode and Canada Graphs obviously wrote this back in March before the finale. So this scene had this group of heroes walking through a mob on a plaza. They get to the front and they seem happy about something. People are seemingly cheering. 
but there also was at least a couple of people in the background who looked like they were acting angry, including one walking away giving a thumbs down to whatever was going on and no other context of what the scene really is known. That was about it. So after that scene wrapped, they went to lunch and they went to the next scene across the street, which we'll get to in a minute. But let's quickly discuss this. So this is a scene where we got a big crowd. Obviously, they couldn't do this scene now if they wanted because of, you know, everything in the world. That is very dangerous. So at the point they could do this, they've got this. I guess they want to use this footage because it's something that they can't do anymore. And so this scene had the heroes, you know, Team Supergirl, including Supergirl, Martian Manhunter, Dreamer, Brainiac 5, Miss Martian, and Alex. So they were all running through this crowd, like walking through the crowd, and they get to the front. They're very happy about something. Seems like this was probably towards the end of the episode where people were cheering and everything like that. And they've defeated, I think, Lex Luthor, I'm presuming, because this was the original plan for the episode, that Lex would be defeated, potentially killed, or just defeated and put away to prison, because that is what John Cryer said, you know, the way that Lex's story arc went wasn't as intended. He was supposed to be defeated, but they never got around to finishing those final few scenes, so they're probably going to rewrite it and change it when they get to return to filming sometime in November. So anyway, this crowd scene happened, and then they went over to shoot the scene across the street, and this is this. So the last location of the day was in a children's park. This location saw several cast at it. Melissa Benoist was on set as Cara Danvers, Katie McGrath as Lena Luthor, David Harewood as John Jones, Jesse Raff as Quirrell, Nicole Maines as Nia Now, and as well as returning guest star Sharon Lill as McGann. Also on set was John Cryer as Lex Luthor, but he was not shooting, at least while I was there in brackets, can I grasp puts, on camera. This usually means the actor is simply needed to speak a piece of dialogue needed in that scene. And so from what I could see of the scene, it seemed the cast were hanging around the bench, seemingly having a good time, as there was a lot of laughing while the camera was rolling. Then suddenly something catches their attention and they all look up a bit. And I never heard any dialogue for the scene, but their fun-loving nature from the moments earlier seemed to change into a more serious look. I know the direction they looked is towards where John Cryer was standing off camera, so perhaps it had something to do with Lex, but I can't say... In some of the scenes you might see bubbles on the screen because there was a child playing with a bubble blower throughout the scene while also playing soccer with his dad so that was just another thing happening in that scene okay so that was the scene that was shot this is the biggest scene that we know was cut obviously there was some other stuff from the last like five days i think they got about five days into shooting this canada grass wasn't able to be there for every single thing so there is big chunks that we're missing and no one knows about but at least this scene, this was the scene where they're on the park bench, they're all together. Somehow Lex Luthor shows up, he's off screen, John's doing dialogue. But, you know, they can't see him because they're going to cut to him later or something and do that scene later. So, you know, this is the moment where they all look up into the air. So I'm presuming this is some sort of cliffhanger. Ever since I found out about the scene, like back in March when Kind of Grass first posted this blog, I always thought this would be towards the end of the episode because it kind of looks like a cliffhanger moment where they're all happy and everything and then suddenly they look very serious off screen and everything. So I'm presuming maybe we get a glimpse of this in the trailer if the trailer is cut together. Maybe some stuff with Lex that was filmed but wasn't fully completed. So in the end, when we get that trailer, at least some of the moments mentioned in this video will be included at least briefly. Or they will use the footage from the other days that currently no one, you know, in the public knows about what they shot for those specific moments. There is a high chance that you'll see some of this stuff that is described by Canada Graphs. Also, final thing before we end this video. This is a big spoiler, but I'm pretty damn sure this means that because Nia and Brainy were in the scene together, Brainy is definitely saved by Nia as that was one of the final cliffhangers of the finale that we got. I'm pretty sure they intended for that to be in episode 19. Brainy is dying, Nia goes to save him. Then in episode 20, the finale, Brainy is saved by Nia. And so that's why you're getting the scenes of him with the rest of the team, because he is alive, he's been saved. So that's pretty much confirmed from this. You can take that away from this. So maybe we'll see some more Brainy in the trailer as well. So that is what to expect. In the Supergirl season 6 trailer, 
whenever that comes out, hopefully at DC Fandom, we'll see some of this stuff and presumably some other stuff from those other days that they shot. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.